Well, you don't know the half of it. Sorry. Hi, and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original film, The Half of It. When smart but cash-strapped teen Ellie Chu agrees to write a love letter for a jock she doesn't expect to become his friend or fall for his crush, a shy, introverted Chinese-American straight-A student finds herself helping the school jock woo the girl they both secretly love. At first glance, the first 20 minutes of this film, you could be forgiven for thinking this is going to be your typical uh, romantic comedy, uh, teen angst, uh, cheesy fest uh, film that we've seen a hundred times, uh, loads of Netflix uh, kind of rom-coms do this or that you think that it would do this and you could be before forgiven to think that this film is going to do nothing new um, and it doesn't have anything um, of substance to it. But I would say stick with it because actually I was very surprised by this film. Alice Wood directs this film. She is actually gay. So when it comes to directing this sort of coming of age, coming into your sexuality or exploring that even because not necessarily happens in this film or just kind of teetering around the edge. She, I, I feel like she really hones this topic well. But in actual fact, this story is actually about love. And I feel like it's one of the films that, I, that of recent years that I've seen that helps to explain what love is even if it i mean that's a topic that's really hard to explain what love is but what love means to so many people and i feel like through the characteristics with the characterizations of these three um that you have the boyfriend the jock who is falling in love with the typical beautiful girl and you have the the girl the geeky girl that uh falls in love with this other girl and the boy you know it's the typical triangle story that you see lots of the thing is with basic romance rom-coms that you see a lot on netflix is that all those characters normally are one-dimensional you only get the protagonist that really has a background story this one does it differently though. It shines a light on what it's like to be the pretty girl living in a town that uh, her father is this pastor. It shines a light on the jock and that there's more to it because the jock is the typical, he's not very smart, but he loves the pretty girl. So on the surface, this film looks very similar to things where you can just go, Ugh, what, what is this film actually about? doesn't have anything decent to talk about but it really does when it starts developing those relationships you can't help but really enjoy uh, the characters journeys and by the time you get to the end I was surprised by how much I really enjoyed these characters it was difficult to know who to root for because you want everybody to end up with the ones they want to end up with but just like in real life this film tries to show you what real life is and how messy love can be Along with how great the story is and how great it, it is fleshed out, because it's written and directed by the director, um, you get the sense that e each of the characters, the actors, are really pulled upon to do their best work. But there is a shining light in this film. Uh, Leia Lewis, who is the main protagonist, the, the geek, one of the three main protagonists, I think she has a lot of screen presence and I'm really looking forward to what she does in the future because I feel like most of the time she's the one that outshines others on screen even with the adults she's the one they're holding um, I guess at that moment the, the, the moment that they're trying to get across the director wants you to understand this emotional this moment going forward uh, in the story I feel like she outshines us because her presence is subtle but really works. I felt like she got to grips with that character. You believe everything she's going forward in. The cinematography in this is also great, again, but understated. It's beautifully filmed. Every shot is well crafted. There were a couple of moments when I, the, the cinematography was so good, all the shot selection was so good that it actually took me out of the film, which only probably comes from um, if you've been to film school and you're like, ah, I love what they've done there. I must remember how to use that. If you've got like a filmic idea of how you want your films to look like in the future or to dream about making a film of some type, then you'll have this catalog of those shots are amazing. There's a couple in this film where I just went, that is stunning. Uh, which I was really kind of taken aback at. That's why it took me out of the film. If I wasn't paying attention to that, I would have been drawn drawn in and sucked in. It's also quite funny in moments, but really heartfelt funny moments. There's genuine character development, which has you on edge for the characters. You're on the journey with them. And I think, again, that is the direction and the script writing, which comes from the director. She really knows what her characters need to be doing on screen. So when you have a lead that is holding the performances together with a well-crafted script are very well directed and look so great 
you're gonna go on a journey. So even if you're um, not in this film uh, because you're uh, coming into age of your sexuality or you're exploring that, as a, as a film about love, I think it does a really good job and it makes you question certain things about what love is. And hopefully at the end of the film, it will help you question some of those things. I think it's good when a film makes you question certain themes and topics. It's not your typical teenage angst, uh, angst film. And there is a bit of cheese in it, but where there is cheese, I felt like it needed it because at times it can get uh, not sorrowful, but uh, quite forlorn. There is a um, atmosphere that they're going for. So when you get the comedic moments or cheesy moments, it's the right temper and tone for the film. So I think that was a, a really good kind of, not a juxtaposition, but a, a lift from what was going on in that moment. But I do feel like it's also a very romantic film. I am uh, <laughs> uh, the romantic type in uh, our relationship. My wife will attest to that. I do have a soft spot for romantic films, but I thought this one was particularly good. It's one of the better ones I've seen um, from Netflix recently. I mean, it's not from Netflix. They obviously funded the film and so now, or well, they've bought the rights to it. So now it's on the Netflix catalog or will be from Friday. And I think you should watch this. Even though it's, it's for a younger generation, I think everybody will have something to pull from this because it's, you know, that broad theme of love and coming to terms with what that means and how messy it is. There's a relationship explored with um, the protagonist and her father, which adds weight to the story, which I thought, which I was very grateful for. And there's also this that you can't just be with the ones that you like sometimes life makes you choose different choices and life carries on and so it tackles all of those themes very well very interesting film I liked it quite a lot there are these um there's a few moments in the film where the film fades to black and brings up some text I'm not going to say what they were but my uh lecturer at uni when I was selling television and film production always said you shan't you shouldn't do that because it it's like a weak type of filming because if you don't know how to fade to black and don't know how to tell your story without being able to tell your story then you're just a terrible filmmaker and I'd like to say you're wrong because here it works so well. It's uh, it doesn't. It's not really for going from one scene to another, but it adds value to it. And I think if you are not afraid to explore filming techniques and do things differently, you'll come up with something that is quite unique. And I really like that here. I thought, wow, okay, this filmmaker has been brave in certain areas from allowing the cinematographer to do some fantastic shots, to be brave, to just be still on certain shots and then do text that's quite funny in moments. I thought, wow, okay, very, very interesting film, well acted, uh, definitely worth a go, way less cheesy than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to give this an A. Uh, do chat to me in the comments below. Have you seen the director's first film? Are you going to check this one out? Uh, what is your favorite romantic film of all time that you think is really well filmed and is less cheese and less teen angst? Thanks so much for watching this review, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.